In today's video, you'll see a teen who thought she could get away with throwing rocks at the police, an abuser who believed they could get away with false accusations, and a girl who turned a warning into an arrest by refusing to give her name. But first, let's see what happens when a school fight turns so bad that the cops are called. So what happened today with the fight? We were sitting at lunch, everything was fine, and um, he started throwing food. Like, they were like throwing food, like oranges over the building and stuff. You started throwing food. Alex. Okay. So, you know, Alex is a girl. Boy. Okay. I don't know. It's confusing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's simple. So, you know, like coming down from the main building, it goes towards the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We were all sitting right there at the table, and the table's over the wall or whatever the hell it is. He went and started throwing oranges. So, I guess they thought we threw the oranges at him, so they went and chunked them back at us and almost hit me and my friend. So we went and told him something like we we weren't trying to hit you like we weren't even throwing crap at you so like sorry like it was him who did it and they said okay. So your friend was throwing stuff at? No, Alex was. Okay. Me and Alex were friends yeah. until all this happened today. <sighs> so I went into the bathroom and I told him, quit throwing crap at them because you, they're thinking it's us doing it. Mm -hmm. I walk away and all I hear is you. And I was like, all right then. I was like, I'll let it slide like. Walked away. He came outside, like, to, like, look for me, like, looking around, and that's when he turned around, and that's when I told him, I was like, you're starting shit at them, we're gonna, they're getting pissed at us, because you're throwing shit at them, and I was like, they're getting mad at us, and then he's, like, telling, like, I kept telling him, I was like, you do all this shit, and I was like, you're pissing them off, and then that's when he started telling me, like, I'm a bitch and all that, and then I told him, I was like, you talk all this stuff, I was like, you do all this shit, I was like, and you don't do nothing, I was like, stop, I was like, it's embarrassing, and she a fight broke out in a New Mexico high school between two students. School security attempted to break it up, and one of the students backed off peacefully and complied. The other student, however, well, you're about to see what they did. And like, he kind of started like, trying to make himself look bigger, I guess, or whatever. Like, and then that's when like, I pushed him back, mm -hmm. and then that's when he went straight for right here, and then he went for my hair, and then that's when I hit so him back. When you say you pushed him, you went, you say, when you say you went for right here, like, what do you mean went for right here? Like, he went, clawed me in the face, okay. like, because, like, all right here, and I said it was red, I don't know if it's still red okay. or not, and he went, clawed me in the face, he grabbed a hold of my hair, like, he kind of had me, like, he had me by my hip, like, mm -hmm. he was holding me by my hip, and, like, at my hair, like, he has, like, his arm under me, I guess, or whatever, and, like, he had me by the back of my hair, like, by, by my ponytail, and then he had me, he scratched me in the, the eye, and I was hitting him, like, trying to, like, push him off and hit him, and then that's when, um, the security guard, that's when he came, and then that's when he grabbed me, and that's when I was asking him to let me go, I wasn't going to hit him or nothing, I was kind of, like, I don't like being held down, like, not held down, but I don't like being held like that. Did you hit the security guard, too? No, I didn't hit the okay. security guard, he, I don't know how to explain how he had me, he kind of had, like, my arms, like, kind of, like, behind my head in a way, so, like, I don't hit nobody, but... I guess Ma was like freaking out, like how many times I can let me go, that's all. Like I didn't hit them, that's but, all. But you, you and Alex did get in a mutual fight, yes. physical fight? Yeah. Okay, all right. What happened with that girl? Uh, we just finished, I was coming down the hill. I saw a group of students hanging out right up at the west side. Then I saw Mia and another student, they were confrontational verbal. I let Lonnie know, I said Lonnie, because he was busy with some other students. I said, hey, we got a situation that Dr. was walking down. And I passed out because I got ready to go. And right in that moment, they both engage. When I separate them, separate me and the other one, me, I turn around and hit yeah. a couple on me. So they were both were. Yeah, yeah. they were both they, so. they were engaged. And I separated them, then Lonnie came separate the other one. And I got me on the side. Yeah. And then me, I just. Turn around. She turned around and hit you? Mm -hmm. like punch you? Mm -hmm. Where at? I just I'm, hit her or something, but she just she, went. She hit you though. Yeah, and then I yeah. cut it out and then. She got confrontational after and I And then I, I restrained her. She got confrontational with you or the other person? I'm sorry. With everybody. With, she got confrontational with, with, with everybody? With everybody. Okay. I had to restrain her again okay. and she started kicking me like on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lenny had to restrain her, her leg because she was just out of control. She was just did a lot of profanity to everybody, told us off and said next time something's gonna happen and she just going down the line. Okay. Um, since you all got kicked too, you guys are victims? Matter of school personnel, I have to ask you all, do you want to prosecute? I'm going to visit with Mr. Doctor on this one. Okay. She has yeah. special needs, and I know what she goes on, and she blows up all the time, mm -hmm. but somewhere, they, has they, they, there has to come mm -hmm. some, uh, 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 you know, mm -hmm. turn a light on for them or something, and the mm -hmm. parent, hey, this is what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it could be somebody else. Yep. It no. could be a 
Yeah. It's Carol. Yeah, I agree with you. You, you, mm-hmm. you just don't know. Let, well, let, let me know too if you guys do, because if you, if you do, I'm going to put that charge on there too. Okay? But I have to ask you guys because you guys are victims now too. So. There are special charges added whenever there is violence against school personnel. Much like violence against police officers is categorized differently. Yeah. She's scary with everybody. Mm-hmm. She, you know, she has her moments, but this time I guess something with the earpods. And the girl was talking to her. I said, "Oh, she's gonna get like that already." And then and the people started getting in the west door. Yeah. And I said, "Let's go." And then I got in. I got in. She and got like separate. three punches on you. Mm-hmm. Like, that's yeah. not. That's not right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she, she, she just couldn't con- control herself. So I'll talk to her quick too, and then um, after I'm done talking to her, I guess if you want to talk to Dr. Yeah. later about this, and just yeah. let yeah. me know. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Because it's a whole. Special needs, this whole, and then after that we broke up. She's still confrontational. I said, "You need to stop." She said, "I won't hit you again." I said, "No, you won't." She said that to you? Yeah. We were in the front right there, and then finally, then she, then she came and held her again, and she started kicking because she just. We tried to contain her there so she wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mia. For Alex, I'm sorry. Go ahead, stand up. You're making me anxiety. I don't need calls and your freaking officers in here. We have to do, we're just working. No, I don't need you guys in here. You're making me get anxiety. Well, we can't. I'm scared of y'all and I don't think I need y'all in here. Y'all making me get anxiety. We can't leave. And still, I don't care. I don't want y'all in here. Y'all making me anxiety. Alex, Alex. Alex. Y'all making me have anxiety. Y'all need to get that through your head. I'm getting anxiety from them. They're about to detain you. They're going to put the cuffs on you. For what? You guys can't, you know, they're going to take me to jail. That's they can't. No, you're not. They have, they, have they have to. No. They have to. No. Nope. They're not doing it because they want to. They actually have no, to. No, they don't. So, so Alex, let me, let me tell you what's going to happen, okay? No, you guys are not going to do that. Listen to me, okay? I'm, don't I'm, have the right. I'm, I'm being, you do not have the right. I'm being completely honest. You do not have the right. I'll be straight up Just with listen. you, okay? Just listen. So we can, you can either be cool, calm, and collected, put the handcuffs on you, or we're going to have to go hands-on, which means we're going to have to grab b- you and force you. Force you. We don't want to do that. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Those are your only no, options. No, you, Alex. We're not asking you, you. You have to. No. Okay. No. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Okay. I'm not going with y'all. Right? Have my mom take me to. and not freaking get do y'all. That's not how it works. Mom. Yes, y'all not taking me. Yes, I don't need to go with y'all. Can y'all stop being let me go with y'all? I don't know want to go with y'all. It's pretty safe to say that nobody who's ever been arrested has wanted to go with the police. That doesn't change the fact that Alex committed a crime, and you're about to see the consequences of that. Oh, what the f- did I do? I didn't do sh- No, what did I do? What did I do? Got in a fight. Stupid! Huh? That's not me. You should go fucking take her to jail. It's both y'all. No, it's not me. No, it wasn't. I have the right to put this in myself. I thought you were going to beat the f- out of me. No, Alex, no, that's not how it is. Alex, yes, because y'all be trying to take me to jail. No, you have to. Go to jail. No, I'm not going to jail. We have to go with us. Y'all trying to take me to jail? No, I'm too young. I'm too young to go to jail. Y'all didn't understand. I'm not y'all's age. Hey, Alex, Alex, let me. Let me. No, I'm not going to jail. No, nope. just not. Okay, just, just real quick, okay? I, I get can see that you're very upset right now. I don't blame you. Okay, just real quick, okay? Okay, the the youngest that we can detain a person. Y'all not detaining. Listen, listen, that's not what it is. Nope. Is 11 years old. Okay. I don't care, y'all not detaining me. And y'all did not do that last year, and I don't give a fuck, you're not doing it to me. We, we, we did no. do it last year. We no, you did not do it to me yesterday. Alex. Or last year, you did not. Alex. You did not do it. I knew y'all yes, last year, I and I know y'all did not do it. Alex. Don't even lie. The new policy started in December of last year. Yeah. No, y'all didn't. I knew it. No, y'all didn't. And it's, you have to come with us. No. And your, your, your parent or guardian can pick you up from the police department. No, I don't want to go to the police. No. Alex, here. I don't want to go to the police. Okay. Well, hear me out, Alex, okay? Oh, my God. I don't want to go to the police. Listen. <laughs> I'm not welcome there. That's not for me. I cannot go to the police. Yeah, Alex. Just get that three head. Please. Just no. get that three head. Shh. Get that three head. I don't want to go. Alex. I don't want to. I don't want to go. I understand that. Listen. Mm. If if you refuse and you try to fight with us, or you refuse... Well, can y'all just be, be quiet and just leave me alone? We can't do that. Let's well, stop trying to take me with y'all. I'm not trying to go. You it have doesn't to go. matter. It doesn't matter with y'all either. If you refuse to go with us, then we're going to have to charge you with another crime. Which y'all cannot... That's not a crime. That's not a crime. Straight thing. up. No, it's not a crime. I'm resisting. It's not a crime. No, it ain't. 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 Okay. So, no, it ain't. You can't just say that something is not a law and hope for it to be true. That's not how it works. Police officers in general typically understand the laws better than school-aged children. No, it ain't. No. Okay. I'm not taking my from you. 
No. This is my Stop! 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 No! Stop! Don't touch me! Please! No! No! Please! I'm sorry! No! 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 Please! Stop! You're not me! No! Take it off of me! Take it off me! I'm trying to off! Take it off me! I'm off of me! No! Stop! Hey, stop. You're gonna hurt yourself, please. We don't wanna we don't want you to hurt yourself. Come on. Ow! 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 You're hurting me! Ow! You're hurting me! Stop! I don't need you! Leave me alone! I got one hat, okay? They told Alex multiple times that if he didn't go with them willingly, there were going to be consequences. And even after that, he blubbers and cries because the cuffs aren't very comfortable. It's difficult to feel sympathy for that, even for a child. They're me bad! Oh, no, I can't! Help me! Oh, they're cutting me! No, they're not. Yes, they are! Oh. I can see it. Oh. 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 They're right at me! Can you take them off, please? We take, off. We will when we get to the police take department. Take them off! Take them off! Okay. Take them off of me! Take them off! Oh, oh, we'll get take them off of me! Take them off! Ow! 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 No, we, we Why? We, because we don't want to. I don't need it. I promise. I'll stay with y'all. I, I know you will. Well, can you but see it's going to make it more comfortable for you. I don't me. need it. No, it's not comfortable. Without the backpack? No. Well, it's because, look, it's already. Can no, listen. Can y'all take the count off? It's hurting me bad. We will once we get to the. Oh my god, you're making it worse. Ow. Yeah, we're not. We're yes, not it's putting arms. more weight on her. No. Okay. Ow. You got it. Oh. No. Listen. Oh my god, bro. Take you're a making breath. it stressed out. You're making me get sick. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, bro. You're bre do you have asthma? Uh, yeah, yes. I don't have an inhaler. I don't have an inhaler. I don't have one. Okay. I only have one. I'm not. I don't have hey, like. As soon as we get get you to the PD, <laughs> then we're gonna release you. Okay, and then you can go with mama. I can't breathe. Oh, I can't breathe. Yeah, hold, hold, hold the backpack. Is she getting the same thing as me? Oh, she. Yeah, trust me, she's getting in trouble too. <laughs> oh. Take a breath. We got you. All right. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to do anything else. And then three. See, we're okay. We're all right. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Nothing's gonna poke, cut, or stab in your pockets. Uh, ow! I have to. I have to. Can you spread your feet for me, please? No. Alex. Alex. Oh, no, leave me alone. Please! No! Alex, you have to. No! I, I gotta check you. No, please! Alex, you just gotta check you. No! Please! Hold on. No! Alex. I don't need you, please! Alex. Please! Stay right there. No, call my mom now! I don't need you all, please! Call my mom! Alex, just put him in No! Just put me in the f***ing thing! Okay, we're putting you in there. Okay, put me in there. Put me in there! Hold on, hold on. Put me in there! Hold on. Hold on. Alex! Alex! Alex. Alex, we have to check you first, girl. No! Hey. Stop! Alex, please stop. Ah! Alex, please stop. Can you tell me to stop? Leave me alone! Listen, listen. Alex, stop! Listen. Stop touching me! Alex, we have to check you, Alex. No! What's Put me down! Your, what's in your pocket? Tell us what's in your pocket, then. Put me down! What's in your pocket? Put me down! Alex, look at me. Can I just talk to one of y'all, please? Listen. Leave me alone! Take me off, please. Okay, well, I need to talk to one of the officers, okay. not you. Okay, talk, 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 talk to me. Let me go, promise. Let him go, I got him. What, what's wrong? Oh, hold on. We just want, I just, we need to make sure that you're not going to hurt us or yourself. Oh, it's hurting me. So let, those aren't coming oh, off. What's in your pocket? No. Tell me what's in your pocket that you don't want us to see. <sighs> just be real with us. If it's a, if it's like a vape. vape, I don't care. Yes. Okay. You can't, I'm not going to charge you with that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to oh. get it. Okay. Oh. See, that's all you have to do. Oh, but I need it because. It makes me like, not like anxiety or nothing. Yeah, 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 no, I feel like Alex claimed not even five minutes ago to have asthma, but now their vape is necessary to help with anxiety? It's just lie after lie after lie. Alright, we will release it to your guardian. Uh -huh. 
but I can't give it back to you, but I can give it back to them, okay? That's just a nicotine vape. I don't even care. Yeah. See? I don't even care. Just take a breath and work okay. with us. I promise, I know you don't like cops, yeah. and I understand, but I want you to understand, we're not doing anything to try to hurt you. I promise I don't okay. have no weapon. Okay, no, I believe you. Go ahead and sit down for me. Let's do that. Okay, you got it? Okay, all right, we'll get you over there, okay? Alex was arrested on two counts of battery against school personnel, public affray, and resisting evading or obstructing an officer. Because they're young, they likely didn't see any jail time for this. With this next case, however, well, you'll just have to find out. Hello, I'm Deputy Becky with the Marion County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is because I got you at 68. You got your driver's license, registration, group of insurance? You don't have a driver's license? Why are you driving and you no license? I don't know. Anybody got a driver's license? No one's got a driver's license? No? Okay. Do you have any ID? No ID? Okay. On April 9th, 2024, Florida officers conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle for excessive speed. When the officers approached and asked the driver to identify herself, she started to give her name. She didn't seem to want to give anything more than that, however, and you'll never guess what happens because of that. What's your first name? Spell that for me. Y'all yeah, just okay. take me. F it. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Cause I already know what's gonna happen. What's that? What's your What's your first name? You don't know what your first name is. You don't know. Okay. How about? This stuff. If I get your man, they sit down. Bro, you're already going. Might as well just tell them. I, they're gonna tell me exactly. They're gonna figure it out. I can't. What? I'm gonna get in a motorcycle. I don't know what's gonna happen at the end of my name. She claims that she knows what's going to happen, but she's just getting a failure to identify charge that was completely avoidable. It doesn't seem like she cares at all how this is going to affect her. All right. What's your name, sir? You got an ID or anything? Perfect. Why don't you want to give us your name? Because I already know. I just want to go for a lot of training. So what does that mean? Do you have a warrant? No, no, but I got. Why, why are you worried about? So you're gonna refuse to give us your name. If you don't have a warrant, you're gonna refuse to give us your name to get in more trouble, to be put in handcuffs, just because you went to court for a bunch. Of is what you're telling me? No, no. This is uh, Can you let go? No, I'm not gonna let you go. You okay. Stop. Stop. You're gonna stand exactly how I got you. Okay. 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 Okay.
and told me that you were honest with me about the weed, 90% of the time you're going to get a break. All right? Whether it's a court date and you get to go on your way, but now you're sitting in the back of a car because you wanted to be the way that you were. You know what I'm saying? For, it's misdemeanor amount of weed. And if you don't got a license, then that's a misdemeanor too. I had a, not too long ago, I had a warrant for. So you think you have a warrant? There, I got put on. No, I went. I got. I got turned myself in. Uh -huh. Over there, I got put on probation. Are you on probation right now? No, but it's gonna start tomorrow. Oh, it starts tomorrow. Okay. I see where you're coming from then. So, um, just give me a minute. I'm gonna go talk to her real quick. Who, who she do you? Just a friend? That's, that's my baby daddy. Okay. That's his girl. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna read you something real quick. Okay. Now I don't arrest right this time. You're the right face on. Did she just pick you up? Yeah, we literally just drove to the gas station and we're, we literally went and got gas and we're going to go pick up the babies from oh. school. Okay. And they're going to stay with us because she has work. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to confirm some of your guys' information. You and your, is that your boyfriend? You and your boyfriend are going to be cut loose, but we got to tow the car. Okay. So Can we get the diaper bag and my base and my phone and stuff? In a minute, I gotta get some stuff out of the car first. Okay. All right? Sarai, which they finally learned was her name, was charged with resisting, no valid license, possession of cannabis, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in this scenario, and overall they got off without too much trouble. In this next case, however, someone was hurt, and the person who did it wasn't going to get away with it that easily. My girlfriend in there last night, uh so you're you're the one that called? I so no, my friend Dominique Smith. Okay. He's the one that called. He's my friend. So last night she uh, oh, okay, well, those are okay. she choked me. You wanna walk over here? Yeah. yeah, we'll go over here. She choked me three times. I know you're gonna think this looks like a pinky. Mm -hmm. right, and there's a scratch too, but she did choke me. Mm -hmm. And then she also slapped me in the face. Okay. Pulled me by my hair. And I do I knew you guys probably would think it looked like a hickey, but I did record the conversation of her saying like I did put my hands on you and stuff. And I basically gave her, she doesn't have a car, so I basically gave her the option of, I will take you back to your hometown, or I'm gonna call the police. Like, I need her out. She's, she be, takes my phone, so I can't contact anyone. So I told my best friend, I said, look, here's my address. If I don't respond, I, I need you to call the police within X amount of time. So, like, cause in, I kept looking out the window waiting for you guys, and she would not come. And basically, like I said, she puts her hands on me, she screams, takes my phone. And I even locked her outside for a little bit just to try to see if her mom would come and pick her up, something like that. On February 9th, 2024, Ohio police were dispatched to an apartment where a teen was in a dispute with her girlfriend. There were reports of violence, and the teen seemed to think that her behavior didn't have anything wrong with it. You're about to see just how wrong it was. Imagine your partner was acting like this to you, and you'll understand. Her mom's not going to come pick her up, and I turned the Wi-Fi off so she couldn't call people to come here because she has done that before. And basically, she's inside right now, and she's like, we're going to leave before they get here. I ain't going nowhere. I work. I'm a probation officer, so I, okay. that's why I'm trying to just do this the right way. I don't want any other trouble. I just want her out. And okay. obviously, this like this is not okay. I can't right. go to work and help my clients when I'm also dealing with this at home. So Absolutely. I just, Absolutely. I agree. Like I said, I just... Does she have any weapons or anything like that no, in the no, apartment? Sir. No. Okay. No, no guns or anything? No, no guns. No. Gotcha. No. Um, and you said all this happened last night? Has yes. this kind of been an ongoing thing? Um, so she kind of started putting her hands on me in December. This is what it looked like last night. So that's what that is. That's what it looks like last okay. night. So like I said, I have a recording of her saying, like, I didn't mean to put my hands on you and stuff just because... She, I heard her when she was outside on the phone with her friend. She's like, they're not going to believe you. They're going to say it looks like a hickey. You're not going to get me arrested. All that kind of stuff. I literally gave her the option before I had my friend call you guys. I said, I will take you back, but you need to leave. Either the cops are going to come and get you or yeah. I will take you back. But you cannot be here anymore. Like, right. I can't. I can't do this. Okay. How long have you guys lived together for? Um... About a year. You guys been dating for longer than that? Um, about a year. About a year? Mm-hmm. Okay. I gotcha. Is she still here? Mm -hmm. She's in the house, yeah. And what 
made her do that? Um, I told her I didn't want to be with her, so the last time that I um, took her back, I told her, I said, please don't come back. Like, she doesn't have a car, so she wasn't going to have a way up here. I said, please do not come back. Like, I, don't, I blocked her on everything. She literally created new social media accounts to get a hold of me, like text now, numbers get a hold of my number. And she had her brother drop her off here. And basically ever since, I was like, it's not my responsibility because she lives two hours away. I was like, it's not my responsibility to have to take you back to your hometown. That's not my job. And so I have been telling her the past week, like, I don't want to be with you. Like, you scare me. And I just want her out. Where's her hometown at? Zanesville, Ohio. Oh, okay. What's her name? Michaela. Okay. I didn't want to have to do this, but she wouldn't leave on her own. Do you have your ID on your So she choked you? She's... She choked me three, three times last night. Like, I would, like, get up and try to breathe and stuff, and, and then she would do it again. Then, yeah. Okay. Um, did you lose consciousness at all? I did not, no. Did you have trouble breathing? I did have trouble breathing. I was, like, trying to, but she's very strong, so I was, like, trying to get her off of me. You want us to go talk to her first, and then... Yeah, I just want to go. Wow. Do you care to hang out before we do all the yeah, paperwork and the statements? Okay. The porch. okay. My porch is actually like right over here. Okay. And then is the door unlocked? Is your door unlocked? She just texted me. Please don't let them take me. I'll leave. The guilt tripping has started even before the police get into the apartment. You know it's going to be a good one when that happens. In the bedroom right there. Come out. Hi. Can we talk? Yeah. Okay. So. Why, wait, why is there three cops? Part of our They're protocol. Just responding. Oh. I, I didn't know. I just didn't know there needs to be three cops. Be respectful to them. I am, I'm not being disrespectful. My mom, I'm not. But. And then I'll okay. talk to you outside. Yes. And okay. Can you. So, what's going on? So, basically, we've been arguing. Off and on for a minute. And today I went outside because she went outside and she locked me out the door. So I was outside for like two hours, I think. And my phone is off and I was, she, she, she asked me to leave. And I was like, well, technically I live here. I've been here for a year and I get mail that comes here. And um, I told her, I said, I'll leave, but I don't drive. She does. And she didn't want to drive me because I live two hours away. So she asked me to find somebody who meet us in Columbus, and I've been trying to find somebody, but I don't have nobody. If she's been getting mail there and has established residency, the owner does legally have to serve an eviction notice. In Florida, because she very likely doesn't have a lease to live there, that means she would have to be given a 15-day notice to vacate. This obviously doesn't make the domestic violence okay, but it does mean that she can't be kicked out just like that. So she walked me outside. And then I was begging her to let me come inside. She let me come inside. And then she turned off the Wi-Fi because my phone's off and it only connects to Wi-Fi, so I couldn't text nobody. And then she was just asking me to leave before she called y'all. I didn't even know she called y'all. But before she called y'all, and then I said I'll leave, but I was asking her to turn on the Wi-Fi so I can get all my arrangements set up where I live. And then by the, she turned on the Wi-Fi when y'all got here, so... Okay. Basically, that's it. But so, what's up with the next one? The marks on her neck. Don't know. Don't know how those got there. Okay. Well, she says otherwise. So, if you want to tell me what happened, I mean, it'd be better if you tell me what happened. Bro, we was bro when we was arguing. I'm not gonna lie. I did, I did grab her neck, but like, I'm gonna keep it pee with you. She put her hands on me first. She put her hands on me first. And I, I have never put my hands on this girl. I, I literally texted her after it happened. And I told her how sorry I was that it happened. And she put her hands on me. I put my hands on her. It happened. So I was supposed to leave today. I couldn't get a ride to leave. So she got mad, locked me out, turned off the Wi Fi. And. By the time I came back in, because she just let me in like 30, 40 minutes ago, mm -hmm. I tried to call my mom, because I was just on the phone with my mom, tried to call my mom to see if she could find somebody. They said no. She told me y'all was here. That was really the end of it, really what happened to her. Okay, so what do you mean she put her hands on you? 
Like, when we be arguing, bro, she be putting her hands on me first. Like, it's like a type thing, like, we be a push come to shove kind of thing. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to get her in trouble or anything. If I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. But it's like, I don't put my hands on her unless I'm responding to her putting her hands on me. Like, my face, she scratched my face, grabbed my Where did all this happen? In our bedroom. In the bedroom. Or you. Okay. You go, were you guys in the bed or just standing up around the bed? I don't know what it looks like, but. We was, we was in the bed. Okay. Sorry, I just don't. Okay. Oh, you got a couch in there too. Okay. Okay. So she was asking to leave, and that's what happened. All this. No, it didn't happen because she asked me to leave. I forget what we was arguing about yesterday. Okay. Do you have an ID on you by chance? I honestly don't know where my wallet was. She didn't let me in here to pack my stuff. Okay. So, Do you but, know your social security number by chance? Yes. Yeah. Just give me a second. I want to go talk to her. Okay. So she's saying that you had put your hands on her first and that things often get physical between you guys. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I mean, do at any point, like, you get physical with her or anything like that? Okay. Okay. Like I said, she was drinking last night and literally... It, I'm not kidding, it really happened. I was like, I do not want to be with you. Like, and after that, it was just like, she's seen red. And like I said, even in the video, when I, because I literally recorded her saying that she was doing it. And she was like, I don't, she's like, it even scared me. I know you were scared, all that kind of stuff. But no, ma'am. No. As much as me putting my hands on her, I was literally like trying to obviously get her off of me as go like that. But that mm -hmm. was the extent of me putting my hands on her because I was like, you need to get the off of me. Yeah. I gotcha. Um, did you at any point try to call 911 last night or anything? No, I said she took my phone. Okay. Yeah, she did she know phone. you were going to try to call 911? Is that why? Last night, yeah. Yeah. Because I told, like, I think that that was the worst she had ever done it. And I think she knew I was at the point of like, holy. Like, you just did that to me. And so. Taking someone's phone with the express purpose of preventing them from calling 911 is a felony offense in Florida. I, gra I actually went to grab my phone and she took it. And I was like, I just want to make sure I can hear my alarms for work in the morning. And she's like, no, you're not. So she did, she did take it. And yeah, so they had my phone. Okay. But you didn't say you're like calling the cops. Or no, I did not. That's not. Okay. Okay. So we are going to arrest her. Um, and I'm not saying that's because you want this, um, but we have an obligation because it is domestic violence, um, because you guys live together, you guys have been in a relationship together for a year now. We have an obligation to step in. Um, I am also going to charge her with strangulation, um, for strangling you, which is a felony. Okay. Um, I'm just, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sure that's a lot, but I just want to be honest with you. Okay. Obviously, you're at your wit's end. Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You do not need to apologize at all. I didn't okay. want it to come to this, but I didn't have a choice. I literally thought you were understand be. that. Well, yeah. I understand that. Um, do you care? I'm, I'm sorry. Do you care if I see those text messages where she had told you that she was sorry for what she did to you? Or, yeah. or that video of her? Absolutely. All right. So, it, look, it sounds like your guys' stories aren't matching up or anything like that right now. So, we're trying to figure out figure out everything, right? I mean, that's, I can't make any determination right now. How long, you, this, if I did, how long do you think I'd be in jail for? For what? Whatever. For like, I don't know what the charge would be. Whatever happens. I mean, it all depends. Uh, I can't give you any realistic, because I'm not a judge or nothing like that, right? So, um, and I don't, I don't really know where this falls or, or what's going on or even if she wants any charges or anything like that. So, I mean, it's hard to give you kind of any information on that. As far as you're saying that she put her hands on you, you don't have any marks on you or anything like that from her? Oh, I have marks on my face. Okay. Like, I have a whole scratch on my face. It's just small because she just not. Like, okay. Um, and it just wasn't deep. Well, would you say that was from her trying to get you off of her from choking her? No, but I wasn't even choking her like that. Like, she, she making it run bad and it wasn't even like that. Like, okay. Well, it, if I she, I'm not gonna lie, uh -huh. but she did put her hands on me first. But if she wants to take it, however she wants to take it, whatever, it's whatever. Okay. If you weren't choking her that bad, she would not have marks on her neck like that. Okay. But bro, she she be doing, but she be moving and doing it too though. 
Okay. Like, like it could have been, I was not, I really was not choking her like that. But it could have been the way she moved or anything. But I'm not going to lie, I still know, like, my Caleb, you don't. You okay. just don't. Like, I'm aware I was wrong. Like, okay. I just don't do Okay. That. Well, unfortunately, Michaela, we have a duty to step in. Okay, this is domestic violence. Okay, we have to step in, and you're going to jail today. Okay, Bro. so did she press charges on me? No, I said we have a duty to step in. We have an obligation. Whether why, she why why is it me if if she put her hands on me too? Why am I the only one going to jail today? You are deemed the primary aggressor. You have your day in court to argue that. Okay, but today you are going to jail. Okay, I need you to stand up and come with us. Can I call my mom? Listen, you gotta make it quick and let her know that you're going to jail right now and you gotta go. Like, we have other things that are popping off in the city right now, too. So, um, Hello? she's doing that. This is remarkably nice of the officer. They absolutely do not have to let her make any sort of phone call until she gets to the station. I'm going to jail. You're going to jail? Yes. Uh, what are they charging with? Domestic violence, like Alexis does not put her hands on me, bro. You tell them that that's your home, that's your address. That's yes, they don't home. give a. F they don't care. So I gotta go. So you gotta get what they right there. Yes, she told me I need to hurry up and call you. I understand this is your, you live here, okay? I'm not saying that you can't live here, okay? But I don't, I don't, that's fine. Can we just go? Oh, yeah. You don't have anything on you that's going to, no, you just have I your just phone have on you? Your phone's in my phone. Okay. All right. I am going to pat you down real quick. Just make sure. Do you want to leave any of that here? No. Or no? Okay. All right. Will you spread your feet for me, please? Yeah, can I put on my shoes? These are hers, and I know yeah. she's going to want them. Where's your shoes at? Uh, you could just grab a pair out one of them boxes. Uh, one matter. of the boxes, okay. Yeah. I just gotta catch them. Wait, you said, can I do what for you? Spread your feet for me, please. Okay. Thank you. There's the AirPods and phone right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going this way. No, what did I say? Okay, put your hands behind your back. That's not gonna happen on time with you here, but stop. 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 Now. I'm right here. Stop it. Don't arrest. Stop. Have you called your mom? Yep. Okay. Is that what she called? Yeah. Okay. Stop. Hey. Stop. Lock it off. Stop. You're in the of my back. Stop. Well, Michaela. then stop fighting. Stop. I'm not fighting. You are resisting the right. Shut your mouth. Stop it. Michaela, stop that. Okay. Stop. Michaela, we're going to roll right you here. over. Okay. We're going to roll you over. I'm right here. I will pat your back. Sit up and cooperate. You are going to make this worse. Now stop it. You're going to stand close do not resist. Michaela, listen. I'm trying to work with you, okay? That's why I didn't pull you out of here in handcuffs right away. Okay? Stand up. Come on. Go to the car. Go ahead and see you. Michaela was arrested and charged with strangulation, assault, domestic violence, and resisting arrest. Thankfully, the abuser's girlfriend seems to be doing all right and has made a full recovery. If I get any updates, I'll make sure to tell you, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. For most of this altercation, both of them were calm until the very end. In this next case, however, you get to see someone who is furious for the entire time as usual. But this is a very special case of it. We're here, so how can we help you? I don't need you, sir. I need you to go get my dogs. No, you're not? Okay, thank you. Hold on a second. No. I'm gonna explain. I want, to, I want to explain something to you real quick, all right? Hey. So, you you call a 911 like the way you did?
On January 20, 2024, Florida police were dispatched to a residence where a woman reported that her boyfriend had stolen her dog. Police informed her that it was a civil matter and that they couldn't do anything. As you'll see very quickly, she didn't like that answer at all and she reacted to that in a very special way. I reported my dogs. If you're not gonna get my dogs, I need, the I need to explain something to you. I don't need you what to explain you to me. Calling us the way you are if you want is to explain a something criminal to me, offense. Can you can you pass? Can you pass the test? Pass what test? Can you pass the test? Mm -hmm. Pass any test, yes. I'm sorry. To I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get off my property. You're not gonna get my dogs. Get the dog. My was stolen. I pay Nappy's vet bill. I can explain some options for you. I don't want options. I want my dog. Okay. And you're not gonna do that. So get the. So you don't want to know the options that you have. I don't have them? options. I want my dog. Okay. And you're not gonna get my dog. So please, just. Just leave, okay. okay? You're not so, gonna get my dog. So I don't care what you have to say. You're not gonna get my dog, right? But you don't care what that I, I paid say. for. But you don't care what I said. What do you have to say to me? So what the f do you have to say to me so, that I don't already know? I don't think you do know, honestly, ma'am. Oh um, my god! What? They know I'm black or something? Now you gotta send five of you. you get the f away from me. Do you know? You're not gonna get my dog. Get the. F you aren't worth a. Go do. Here's control an some dumb spot. Here's Go an control you plum coast like you have been. Go gang up on the city like you have Here's been. You do have. your pointless work and don't do a goddamn thing for me because you're not gonna do shit for me. Can I explain something? I paid three grand for this dog and for my ex to come in and take him. Mm -hmm. You, no offense, you. Go post up. Yep. Get the out of my yard. Nobody uh, needs you. So. It's a civil matter that they can't even help. Get the f out my yard. It was reported by dispatch that after their initial contact, she called more than 10 times in order to get the police back out, including lying about needing medical attention. But now that they're there, she wants them to leave? Her actions don't make any sense. No! You, no, you bald you head, you my racist. Go no, 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 no. gang up on somebody else, you racist you Go post up. You, you yes. work for me, you yes. This is what the f do, you're a f civil f hell. God. Get the f out of here. Get off my yard. Go post up. Go waste your time sitting somewhere else. You're wasting my time you right fat now. Like over, and over and over and over. You don't work for dispatch, you fat You sit in a f yard. Shut the f and get the uh, 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 what the do you answer phone calls no get the out of here you're not needed they have it under control they have it well under control get the out of here you you short you fat you slow you can't even pass a test go join the army go be in the reserves but you can't do that but you can't that's why you already are. Get the out of here. Nobody needs you. Nobody needs you. So I'm gonna explain a couple things. To and you. go on my tags. Make sure you see me. Make sure you get me out so there because you have nothing to better to do. Get your bald headed ass the out of my. Get off my. No, shut up. Hold on one Don't second. Don't tell me shut up. Don't shut tell up. Me shut I can't. I can't. Get off my property, all of you. So get off my property, you fat. Option you have. You short little fat up on google okay and mis shut up misuse, get off my property mis misuse I'm of 911 which is a criminal offense All get right. off my property and disorderly conduct can you just forward charge for misuse of 911 yep okay. i gotta confirm her picture yeah just look up in david then um take the recording and send us and just attach it to it's the file it's not misuse you dumb <laughs> my dog is gone that i paid three grand for he's God. It's still misuse of 911. She was told several times that it was a civil matter and that further calls would be considered as misuse. She just doesn't like to believe what she's told, like a typical Karen. So, f you, f you, f you. Look up you're not worth a. Look up you're not worth a. Get off my.
my property! Look up the sword Get the, the out! Look up the sword seems to think that I threw rocks in my yard is a good excuse. The police were leaving too. If she'd waited a few more seconds, she would have gotten away with her disgusting behavior. Unfortunately for her, and fortunately for all of us, the officers saw what she did. I threw the rocks in my... God, you dirty... Mm, you can't take me talking to you. Do you, you have to do this to me? I threw the, I threw the rocks in my yard. Take a seat. I don't even. Take a seat. Oh no, my dog! I can't. My dog! <laughs> my baby! Come on, take a seat. No, my baby! Okay, but my baby! I didn't. You know I didn't. Just like you know I didn't. It's just skinhead. Put your put your feet in the car. <laughs> Nobody's even out. Nobody is here. I have to call. Please, I don't. have your chance to call. Get in the car. No, I don't have any shoes. The jail's dirty. I didn't. I didn't do anything to you, and it's gonna come on camera. We're gonna drag you in the car. And you attack. You attack my door. If I have to pull you in the car, I will. But I don't want to. But you, I know because you know I did it. I'll keep talking to you if you put your feet in the car. Get that the out of here, you racist! You racist mother! Yeah, record me! You're right! He's racist! The officer brings up a good point. Does she think that just because someone's bald, they're racist? She brought it up out of nowhere and then just kept repeating it. I threw rocks in my yard and I'm allowed to do that! Have a seat. Put your seat in the car. I threw rocks in my yard! Please, my mom isn't even home. She doesn't know. <laughs> this is so unfair. You're arresting me at my house. I threw rocks in my own yard. It's on video. It's on video. It's on video. It's on video. You can't get away with it. It's on video! It's on video! <laughs> Yet another Karen that doesn't understand how the system works. Does she think that screaming that is magically going to get her off the hook? If it's true that she didn't throw rocks at them, she'll have her chance to show that in court to get the charges dismissed. The arrest is still going to happen whether she likes it or not. Please, please let them 
see the light. Please let them see the truth. Dear God, please. You know I didn't throw anything at them. You know I didn't throw anything at them, God. Please, I knew better. I knew better. I knew better, and it's on video. I knew better. It's on video. I threw it straight down. I will show you the video. What is it? It's on video. Come to my house. I will show you the video. I will, and you're ignoring me. And you're ignoring me because you want me to go to jail. It's on video. I have a ring cam. I, I, do it, I knew better. I know better. And it's on video. You're mad because of what I said to dispatch. You're mad at my freedom of speech. God damn it! No! A lot of comments have brought up the fact that considering her behavior, the boyfriend likely helped the dog. I don't know anybody's number, my dad is not gonna answer the phone, please. My dog is in the, please. Nobody's gonna know. Oh, I hope you get cancer. I hope you get stage four cancer. I hope you have a kid and you get to enjoy it for six months and then the kid Do you understand me? I hope you have a miserable life. Can you at least tell me what you're saying my arrest is for? What is it? Assault on Leo times three. Times three? Three felonies? You're gonna ruin my future! Assault? What did you feel? Tell me, tell me officer, what did you feel? How hurt are you? You drove me here just Fine. Please! You ruined my future! The woman was taken into custody and charged with assault on an LEO, resisting arrest and misuse of the 911 system. She wasted the time of all of the dispatchers who could have been saving lives and were instead talking to her about nonsense. Her violent reaction, however, is nothing compared to this next case. <laughs> I need your guys' IDs, please. You're gonna be issued referrals. Okay. I'll Don't no, shut the door. Get, Do get not shut IDs. the door. Okay, get your ID I, I, now. Okay. And all your roommates have them come down here, please. I, I don't I don't know the girls who live upstairs. Get the girl what do you mean? They're th that's a different house. That's not you? No. I'm so sorry for bothering you then. No, it's okay. That's just not us. How do you get to their house? Uh, it's that door right there. They're upstairs. Yes. You're downstairs. Yes. Good to know. I apologize. Yeah. Uh I know some girls are out in the back, but Okay. It's not me. Well, thank you. <laughs> not uh, Have a good night. You too. The University of Dayton police officers were handling a grand theft auto call when college students living in off-campus housing allegedly began shouting at the officers. Once the theft was handled, two officers decided to knock on the door of the house that the shouting was coming from. They got the wrong house initially, but were redirected to the right one and a college-aged girl opened the door. When she opened her wallet, however, the cops were shocked by what they saw. And you'll definitely have the same reaction. Hi. Hi. Need your IDs. IDs? Um, uh, student can IDs. Can I ask for why? You're being referred. Student IDs right now. Can I just ask? Give me your student ID. I think I have the right to ask why. Okay, so now you're going to get another referral for not for non-compliance. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. It's non compliant I'm just asking why. You, you guys want to sit up there and yell stupid sh and raise all kinds of issues yeah, with us while we're trying to do work and interfere with our scene. Yes, you absolutely are. It's all on my <laughs> camera. Give me your ID immediately. Just... Okay. ID immediately. You guys okay. Get your roommates. I need their IDs as well. Can I come back to you nope. in a minute? Nope. Don't shut your door. ID. Okay. Do you think this is a game? I... Sir, I didn't know. Get your ID now. Okay. Okay, I'm no, gonna get it. you're not shutting your door. Get your ID I have now. I right. Get your ID now. I don't feel comfortable with you opening my door. Right I'm not opening your door. I'm holding it open. Get your ID. Okay. But I'm the only roommate here. Right no, now. you're not. I want Focus. all the girls' names that are. I, I'm. I just walked through my whole house. I'm the only person here. 
ma'am, I'm sorry. That's I... fine, that's fine. And the university can contact you guys. Yeah. We need your ID, though. Okay. Here's my ID. Do you have your, give your state ID? My state ID is yeah. me. Do you know why we're talking to you? I do not. I have no clue what's... Everything with it, everything that you guys were up there yelling at us is on our body cams. So every time we turned around, we could see your faces. So everything that was going on is on camera. We've just been confused why... No, you're not confused. You 12 and all that, that's being confused? I think that's you playing well, Telling us now. we have too many cop cars. Telling us that we're in the way of your pizza. We don't need three cops for one we kid. We have just been... Yeah. Like, you've been up there talking s***. <laughs> it's what you've been doing. So here's my... And now it's not fun for you no more. I have my paper one. It's just that my. What was the one I seen in the front right there? Is that your fake one or something? Here's this one. No, no. What's the one up front? The fake one. What's that one? This is mine. No. What? What's right there? This is mine right here. Okay, so now we're gonna play that game too. How old are you? I have Brenda's ID. You're 20. And you're drunk, huh? Cool. I can smell the alcohol on you. Give me your ID. Give me your ID or turn around and you're under arrest for underage consumption. State ID now. Give me the fake. This is mine. The fake ID that we saw that's on Come camera. On. Possession of a fake ID, even if she had never used it for anything, is still a crime in Ohio and most states in the country. You really want to go to jail over a fake ID? I do not. Then give it. I will. If you, you want to continue playing dumb? I'm not doing that, sir. What? What's in? Is it this pocket, right? Look. Sure. What is that? You can take that, sir. You playing dumb, right? Ma'am, can I please tell you what? Not anybody was saying anything up there. I respect what you guys do. No, you don't, because you're standing here lying to us and you're refusing to give your information. Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Do you live here? No, I'm Stay be gone. Go. Bye. Go. I'm friends with you. Bye. Go. Go. Come on. Give me Go. your ID. <laughs> give me your ID. You want to play this game? Do no. you want to play this thing? Get the f off the porch. Go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. I'll go. Go. Just go, Lauren. Just go. Go. No, just go. Just do you want to interfere with us? Do not. I will I arrest you I right don't. now for obstruction. I don't. Then leave. Go. Just go. Just go. 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 What's your phone number? Mine? Yes. Can I know why it's being used? I am trying. Can I ask a question, please? I am trying to cut you a break and not take you. Generally, police do not have to provide any information to someone after they've been arrested regarding why they need their info. Officers sometimes do it when someone is cooperative, but it is not a requirement in most jurisdictions. What are you confused about? What do you have a question for? I just want to know why you wanted my phone number. I was just, that was my only question. Can I, can I please write down my phone number? No, no, no. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Why are you You really want to push me? I suggest you get the walk-in. Jesus Christ. No, Vince, Vince, go. Go, please, please, please. Shut the door and go. Loser. Just go, Vince, go. All right, all right. You don't want to make this worse for me, please. Just shut the door and go. It seems like all of her friends are trying to make this worse for her. She told the other girl about a hundred times to just leave, and the cops told her the same thing, but she just stood there looking dumbfounded. You'll realize in a moment that this isn't the last we'll hear from this guy. Actually, I no, I actually Vince, stop, 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 what are you stop. Talking? I actually want to know what the rice you're talking about. I actually want to you, know. You, this isn't nothing it to do with matter. This. I want you. What are you what's the How, rice you're talking about? Where's your student? You student here? That doesn't matter. Where, what the, it what does the, matter. No, it doesn't matter. What the f are you talking about? Her. Vince, just go. Just go. Just go. Right now. Just go. I don't care. If you don't talk stop. To her. Don't talk to Vince, her. Stop. Please, tell please. Tell you're going to make it worse. They don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it. Tell me right now what the f Vince, go. Give me a rice right now. Turn around. Turn around. Talk. Oh my god. Talk right now. Talk. Give me a Now! I got the hand. Oh. Oh. 
Give me a hand right here, buddy. Hand, hand, yep. Hand. Yep. Oh, you guys are actually abusing her. You right? want to assault me, you piece of shit? No, you. Kill me a piece of shit. Jesus Christ, oh. man. Back here. Oh my god. You good? Come on. Yo. We got pepper spray everywhere. Okay. Come on. Jesus Christ. Get the f up. This is like I'm not doing shit. <laughs> He's acting incredulous when he, quite literally, assaulted a police officer. There isn't even any question on that, it was all on body cam. He also continued to claim that he knew your rights, presumably talking about his friend. Whenever somebody says that, it's almost always a fair way to gauge that they don't know their rights. You are a piece of I didn't even do sh Like, what, what the f is this? You know what? I hope you know you just got. I don't even know how many felonies. You don't even know because you guys are fucking. Shut your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, you guys are fucking abuse your power. This is what the fuck you guys do. Beat hell up. Shut the fuck hell up. Yeah. He did in the face. Oh, you took me in everywhere. I didn't choke your sh. What the fuck are you Shut talking your about? Mouth. Shut my fucking mouth. Uh, yeah. That's what you're talking to, but that's. Uh, yeah, good. Good job. Good job, got, cop. Good job. Good job. You're a great cop. You're a great cop. Cop. Me, Ty, you serious? Can you sit up on? Can you get up on your knees? Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. You just want to sit there. I'm trying. I can't see anything, sir. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm like super. Yeah. I'm like super. I don't know the word is. Like the face. I can't open my eyes. I won't open my eyes. I'm going to cry. Please, like, help me. Like, please help me. Help me. I'm nothing on my... I'm nothing on me. Please. You know him? I don't know. I have a fake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, breathe. I have asthma. I have asthma. Look, please. Why is the girl on I have asthma. I have asthma. I please. I have asthma. Like, please. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Please. 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 I'm... 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 I'm dying. I'm actually. Please, I'm dying. Where's your inhaler? Where is it? It's. Hey, look up. I need, please, please. I need help. I can't open it. I know that. I'm trying to wipe the pepper spray off your face. You're okay. Put your head back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 It is supposed to fulfill the same role as a taser, giving immediate control over the situation. As you saw, however, it didn't stop him immediately and also spread to everybody else on the deck, including the officers. Tasers are generally more effective in situations like that. That was fakes. We got fake IDs? Yep. So he's under reach too? Yeah. Oh, here's another one. We got the real one. No, nope, his, his real one. Good. What was that? I can't, I can't open my eyes. I can't open my eyes. another fake. Why would he have a fake that's under eight? That's what I'm saying. Try one of those. My radio's dead. Yeah. Please, I can't open my eyes. I'm sorry. I can't open my eyes. I'm sorry. I don't want to be like a loser. Like, I'm sorry. Hey, we're going to try and have you lay on your side here, okay? Okay. And it might help me a little bit more. I might, yeah. Ready? My partner's here is going to guide trying. you down. I'm not even trying. Like, this hurts so bad. No, it's. A, I understand. Okay. All right. Go ahead and lay down. I'm trying. Yep. Okay. Good. Is that good? Is that good? Yep. I'm going to hold your head like okay. this. Yeah. And we're going to try to keep your eye open, okay? I promise we're trying to make you feel okay. better. I know. I know. Okay. It's, it's so okay. All right. I'm I know. I'm not kidding. I got the water yeah. here. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry now. When you start feeling it, I'm gonna have you open up your eye. I'm just gonna help you a little bit too. Okay, let him spit up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not even trying to like do this. No, I, I understand. I'm gonna I'm help like, you out here. Okay? I appreciate you guys so much. Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start the water now. I'm just gonna help you open up your eye. Does that feel a little bit better? Keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. That's fine. Uh, let's do the other one, then we're done. All right, ma'am. Do you have any questions? Is there anything no. that we can? All right. So here's what's gonna happen. All right is that you're going to get the referral through the University Life we talked about. Originally, we were going to do criminal charges. I'm not sure what that's looking at right now with the okay. underage consumption. All right, I don't understand why your friend didn't listen to you Okay. about going inside. So It was not up to me. Yeah. I understand that, and I don't yeah. fault you at all for his actions. So.
Yeah. All right. Is he? What's what's? what's oh, he's where? going to jail. He attacked two police officers. He's absolutely going to jail. So, do you have any? Is that your boyfriend? No, oh, it's my friend's boyfriend. Okay. So he'll be at the Montgomery County Jail. Vincent was transported to jail and was released three days later. On September 11, 2023, he was indicted on three felony counts of assault on a police officer. It's good to see these teens finally face the consequences of their actions. Hopefully they learn from it as they grow older.